I just want to do a quick video on the pure um, own faucet filter. So whether you've got this type that um, is basically sitting vertical or you've got the a little bit of a, the older style, I'm going to call it, which uh, kind of sits parallel, not parallel, <laughs> perpendicular to the uh, sink. Uh, basically what you got when you change your filter um, is this little, kind of like a spring-loaded sensor, and occasionally that will get stuck, and that's what happened to ours when we actually changed it on this black filter. Uh, it's a little easier to see inside the white one. Uh, as you can see here, this one is actually popped up, but on the black one, everything's black inside, and it basically just kind of looked like a, a line. You couldn't really see that it was a sensor until I looked at uh, this one, which is again a little easier to see the inside of. So uh, that's kind of what you're looking for. It, um, just take a butter knife or something and just kind of wiggle on that, and it will free itself up and uh, pop back out. And at that point, if you put a new filter on and it's red, uh, once you screw everything back together, it will reset and uh, you'll get your green light. So that's kind of what we did. This one has been put back on. And as you can see there, it got a green light. So that's all there is to that. Just thought I'd give you a visual. I kind of searched on a couple videos. A lot of people showed how to change them, but uh, not they didn't have sensory issues, so they didn't have to reset theirs. So that's all we got for tonight.